All right, hi everyone. I'm Caitlin. You know James over there, over there. Hello, everybody. <clears throat> I don't care anymore. I lose track. But anyway, guys, before we go any further, you know what tomorrow is? It's James's birthday. Mm -hmm. So what I have to do, unfortunately, I have to sing. And what I mean, unfortunately, means that I do not like singing on camera, period. But because he's my wonderful co-host, I have to do it. So, guys, join me and wish James a happy 50th birthday. Ah, ah got it right. 55. And, um, one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, people. Bear with me. One. Two, three, four. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to my incredible co host, James. Happy birthday to you. Thank you. Yay! Thank you, oh, hi, Jeff. We're going to talk about Aerosmith here in a second. I like so. I told you. I told you too. I told all the previous listeners about that Aerosmith will be touring this year. I told you guys. I knew it was gonna happen too. Anyway, I'm nerding about. It. I'm excited, but I can't talk about it yet. I can't talk about it yet. But welcome, Jeff. All right, you ready, James? Uh, yep. I'm nerding about. Right. I'm excited, but I can't talk about it. I can't talk Close about it. Close that window. All right. Or mute me. You ready, James? Uh, Got it? No, that side was already a, that side was already muted. Weird. Wasn't me. That's weird. I'm like hear myself talk. I'm like, oh gross, no, not not me. Just <laughs> yeah, we're good. We're good. <laughs> I'm okay. good. Let me check. All right, James, you're up. You ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Rock and roll. Off you go. So. Uh, howdy, people. There's uh, no movie to be uh, watched tomorrow for Friday What's because it's my birthday and I'll be doing lots of things tomorrow. And, uh, I hear myself talking. Oh, gross. No, no, not me. James, it's, it's happening. No, we're good. We're good. <laughs> uh, it's I'm, not I'm, me. All right, James, you're up. You're right. Yeah, okay. I'm what right. happened? Rock and roll. What happened? No. What is that? Uh, how many people? You might have an extra window. There's uh, no movie. <gasps> oh, that is me. <laughs> okay. Friday. I have we got it. My, <laughs> my birthday. I'll be doing. I figured it out. Don't mind me. Carry on. All right. Sorry. Now I'll do my review. Okay. Go ahead. Yeah. Sorry about that. Okay. So as you know, tomorrow's my birthday. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be turning fifty-five. Uh, Got a busy day. My friends are coming over at one o'clock, and I get to see their new baby boy Levi and get to hold him. And her, her, my friend Jill's husband Tony, he works at a pizza place, so I'm getting pizza for lunch tomorrow as a birthday gift. That'll oh, be that cool. And tomorrow night, my friend uh, BSF and the boys, they're he's giving me a double feature for my birthday that I wanted: two Clint Eastwood uh, westerns, The Outlaw, Josie Wales, and Unforgiven. So I might review those on Friday night. Um, and uh, so tonight for the Fab Forum, you're all going to love who the guest is tonight, especially is Kate. I got to look down. It here has to do with her shirt. I'm going to be very upset. Bach Dharma of Don't Fear the Reaper, the Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, BOC? Yep. Oh, I love BOC. Yeah, Blue Oyster Cult. Yeah. 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 And uh, everyone, while I'm up here, I'll show you my new... Uh, no, that's okay. That's for the record. That's my shirt. That is I love my what shirt. it says here. Yes, so I know what it cool. says. That's my shirt. The Star Child, <laughs> the Demon, the Spaceman, the Catman. That's my shirt. No, it's not. Yes, it is. It belongs to me. It's too. Hey, Sarah, hey, welcome. Hey, no, you look at that. You got some birthday wishes in the chat. How oh, no. nice. That's nice. Uh, thank yeah, you so much. That's mine. I'm so, so uh, not them, not performing. So, so yeah. You like, uh, you like Buck, uh, Buck, uh, Dharma? Huh? Buck Dharma, the guy from, uh, Blue Oyster Cult. 
BOC, I love BOC. Yeah. Uh, and I love BOC what's going to happen this Sunday night. I reckon Coop played a BOC. Oh, yeah? Last night. I reckon. Oh. While I was working out. So. Wow. Yeah. So, anyway, I do have some new things to report. Cool. Dog hair. Yes, that's a blessing from you. I know Waffles. Everybody, Waffles says hi. She's resting. Um, uh -huh. my little hey, guard Waffles. Dog. She's been my little guard dog lately. I'm like, she's like my little protector. I love it. But anyway, um, I found out I'm going to be an aunt again. Ooh. Yep. This is going to be my... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be an aunt. And I love being an aunt. Nothing brings me more joy than being an aunt. You know, I have a... Yeah, yeah, team Luca. Oh, well, Z Zingro, I'm glad you're here. I hope you're doing well. I'm happy. I am happy. We're happy you're here. Welcome. And um, I'm, there's Luca Lily, and we don't know what the little one is yet. My brother and his girlfriend are having a little argument about it. She doesn't want to know. He wants to know. And... He wants to call it little JJ, so I'm assuming he wants a boy. <laughs> hey, Michael, thank you very much. It's not till tomorrow, but thank Hi, you. Hi, Michael. Oh, happy freaking birthday. Oh, you said freaking. Good. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably you on Sunday, too. You were watching your mouth. Good. <laughs> yeah, so, but he's like, oh, I don't care if it's a boy or girl, but, he, but his name is JJ. He goes, little JJ. I'm like, typical. You want boy? <laughs> so, yeah, <laughs> that's a little JJ. I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> but me, I'm personally happy with that. Either have a niece or a nephew. I'm personally happy with it. I'm the cool aunt, people. So if my nephew and nieces want cookies, they'll get those cookies. <laughs> but I don't tolerate temper tantrums and all that nonsense. But cookies, games, I'm there. I'm the aunt to go to. <laughs> We had a couple of um, uh, cookie heists before, and oh, look at that! Look at these wonderful birthday wishes. Aww. Happy birthday! All all my best wishes. Wish you never, uh, wish never you smile has gone from your face. All the best, best. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Yeah. See, I'm smiling. I'm smiling. <laughs> you're blushing. I am. You are blushing. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> Oh, gosh, 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 Caitlin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> what, what, what? Oh, I pay attention. I pay attention. <laughs> you know, we tell, you should see the, where's my count sheet? I have a count sheet with little marks of how many times we swore in the previous episodes. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Dave. But I only do it because I love you, Michael. And we're family. Can so. you make me big for a second, Kate? I want to show Dave my shirt. Yeah, okay, cool. Dave, check check out his shirt. He stole my shirt. Mine. <laughs> Rock gods. Here we go. Yeah, Kiss. See, that, see, that's my shirt. You know what? It, it says, you know it says here the star child, the demon, the spaceman, <laughs> the cat man. <laughs> shout it, shout it, shout it out loud. We're going to have a party. <laughs> Kate, don't cry. <laughs> Thanks, <Dad>, Dave. <laughs> I'm I'm just, I'm just mess, mess with y'all, but yeah, no, um, yeah, I'm gonna be Ant again, and I'm very excited, very happy, and uh, I'll be embracing that little one very well. I love being a cool aunt. Nothing gives me more joy than being a cool aunt. I'm serious, guys. Being cool as the greatest joy in the world. Now I have some news, Michael. Have you heard? I told you, I laughed at James backstage and he was beyond thrilled. And then Jeff, our my, our friend Jeff Davidson, heard, heard about it too. Ladies and gentlemen, it gives me great pleasure to announce that Aerosmith will be touring this year. Yep. That's right. That's right. I'm I'm making a big deal of this, people, because one, but because one, I grew up listening to Aerosmith. I've been an Aerosmith fan since I was six years old. 
And so nothing brings me greater joy than know that Steven Tyler is doing phenomenal and he's good to go. And the band is good to go. as ah, just wonderful. I'm happy. Although it's going to be a little, little. Oh, she says that. Oh, the shirt does. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank the, you. Thank unfortunately, you. the t-shirt does suit him. Yeah. <laughs> I say that unfortunately. <laughs> I, can hear, I can hear a little angel in my head going, Kate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too, Michael. Me too. I hope Tyler's voice it, it holds up. And I, I've been praying about it. You know, and from listening to a band that um, that um, <clears throat> I've been listening to since I was six years old. You know, I took the news very personally, and um, and I love Steven Tyler. I have a lot of respect for the whole band. I do, and um. So I keep forgetting. I'm sorry, Zara. I keep forgetting. Thank you for reminding me. And I tell you what, uh, my heart broke when I heard about Steven's voice, but with a lot of time and patience, and, and I'm sure it was just as stressful as it was for him as well. I would, I would think. And um, but it makes me happy to know that they're going to go back out there. So, without further ado, let's take a look at the tour dates now. To my knowledge, uh. They're going to be in Denver in November. You are part of the crew. What are you talking about? You are with us, Sarah. You are with us. You don't have to wish. You are. We like you. You're in. You're good. Yeah, you're in. That's it. That's all. That's it. No buts about it. You're in. So, and so what I do know is, is uh hey Jeff, you're still here? What day are you gonna go? Because I know Jeff, you had tickets prior. I know it's like mid early November ish. No, let me look on social media. <laughs> but uh, I'm stoked. I don't know if I'm gonna make it because I don't know where Vegas stands yet. I do not know where Vegas stands yet. That's the frustrating part because we don't, I don't know anything, I know nothing. But I would like to try to sneak in if I can, but it just depends on if I'm going to Vegas. Oh, I spelled that. I should know. I'll spell Jeff is still here. I think it's November 12th. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Thank you, James. Okay. Yeah, no problem. All right. So here we go. So it's right here. As you can see, it's right here. Ooh. This is Tyler Smith Farrell tour of the Black Crows. No, I. You know what? You know what I am hot for. You know what, Dave? I. That would be sweet. <laughs> well, night, Zara. Uh, well, hey, well, good night, sweet dreams, Zara. Take care of yourself. Come, come on, about you're, you're part of the crew, so don't ever question that. You're part of the crew. You belong here. But yeah, no. But wouldn't that be sweet, Dave? Hollywood vampires. Don't, and there's nothing to apologize for, so don't worry about it. Um, and the Holy Vampires opening for Aerosmith? That would be sweet. I got you. Kate, that would uh, be your dream come true. Oh, you don't have to ask me twice. <laughs> I know. <laughs> hey, Dr. Hello, Rick, Dr. Oh, my goodness, hello. How are you? Yeah, I hope you're doing well. Hopefully you're uh, feeling better, I hope. And hopefully surgeons have something figured out for you because I know you've been kind of, you know, hanging in there. So, yeah, well, I've been praying for you. I hope everything's well with you. It's good to see you. It's very much so. It's very much so good to see you. But, yeah, um, people, seriously, I mean, for 2025, if HB goes on tour in 2025, then it's Hall of Vampires. Denver, Hollywood Vampires, Red Rocks, Hollywood Vampires, lovely. <laughs> I wish. Say no more. I'm there before we can even say yeehaw. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeehaw, yeehaw. <laughs> All right. So listen up. So, yeah, you're right, Jeff. November twelfth, Aerosmith will be in um, uh, Tulsa. Then they're gonna be in Omaha. On November 15th and November 18th, they're going to be in Denver, which is the hour away. Oh, you're welcome, Dr. Rick. My pleasure. My pleasure. And so, basically, so everything starts in Pittsburgh, Philadelphia, Louisville, 
Cleveland, Charlotte, Knoxville, Washington, Atlanta, St. Louis, Cincinnati, Nashville, Phoenix, San Antonio, Austin, Dallas, Tulsa, Omaha, Denver, Portland, Seattle, Salt Lake City, San Francisco, San Jose, Los Angeles, New York, New Jersey, Boston, Detroit, Toronto, Montreal, Columbus, Indianapolis, Chicago, St. Paul, Kansas City, Orlando, Tampa, Sunrise, Raleigh, New York, and Buffalo. And, and this goes all the way. The tour will end oh, on February, February 26th, 2025, people. Montreal and Toronto? That's not that's not too far from me. I can just get on the plane. It's only an hour. <laughs> And I can go. Well, see you can see, well, I mean, more power to you, James. You can find somebody to you can take it. Get for tickets to somebody to go with. You're set. Oh, if someone gave me that for a birthday gift, I'd be happy. Well, you know, I've been very blessed to see Aerosmith and uh, oh, Doctor Rick said happy birthday. How nice! Yeah, I saw that. That's why I said thank How you. Nice. How nice! That's very nice thank of you. you. Very nice of you. Um. I've been very blessed to see Aerosmith live. Oh, mercy me. Let me get myself a migraine here. Uh, 20. Night, Zara. Okay, good night, Zara. Take care of yourself, honey. Oh, uh, um, 2015, I think that's what it is. And um, they're up in Cheyenne. And the minute the word, the very minute the word, Aeros the word Aerosmith, no, the very minute it was announced that Aerosmith was going to Cheyenne Frontier Days, I knew I had to jump on those tickets quick because by the time I logged in to get tickets, they were almost sold out. Yeah, indeed, Michael. So, indeed, indeed, Michael. And so, you know, and so, yeah, so with Stephen's uh, um, vocal issues, I took out a little personal. And if anybody wants to know, last time I saw it was 2009. Nice, Jeff. Nice. Now I saw it was fifty. I'll tell you. I'll tell you guys what. I had a blast. I'm like singing every single song at the top of my lungs. I'm, <laughs> my 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 friends and my posse and I were just singing along. Oh, anytime, Doctor Rick. We love you. We love you, and we do. And um, I was just singing like the idiot that I am when I listen to Coop. I'm always singing something. <laughs> But it was a good concert. I would love to go get, but I know it's already sold out. I know because I already looked. Um, and that's okay. You know, I've been blessed to see them live, and I've been blessed with their music. And Plus, I know they'll still be around after Aerosmith, so it's like, it's going to be okay. I'm blessed to at least to have come live, you know? I mean, besides, there's still a Hollywood vampire, so if I want to see Joe Perry, just go see a Hollywood vampire show. So, mm -hmm. but anyway, out to Aerosmith. I'm excited for you guys. I'm happy for you guys. The six year old me inside my heart is jumping for joy. So, I am. I just can't jump anymore because of my joints, but I can tell you that I'm happy. I love you guys. Blessings. I love you all. But yeah, man, that's just great news. Because I know there are a lot of doubts about, you know, Steven Tyler's vocal issues and stuff. And I mean, you know, I was concerned, but. You know, but I know deep in my heart, you know, Tyler's been really working hard trying to get back to her game, try to get back because he wants to go. He wants to do this. And, you know, I, I'm proud of him. I'm pretty sure that was a big challenge. I'm proud of him. Very much so. I'm very much proud of him. So, <clears> all right. <throat> enough that on that. So, but anyway, I'm proud. I'm happy. Uh, hopefully, it all goes well. So, well, well. What else was we supposed to talk about, James? Do you remember? I sure remember. Uh, oh, Sugar Land. We two videos today. Oh, yeah, Sugar Land. What'd you think of them? Sugar Land was pretty good, but that Bon Jovi song, oh, I was dancing in my chair. I almost fell oh, off my chair. Right. That was so good. All right. All right. Yeah, no. Okay, so Sugar Land uh, is a band that departed, a country band that departed a long time ago. And um, now they're back as a duo, and they're going to be opening for Little Big Town, which is a great country group as oh, well. I've heard of that band, Little Big Town. Yeah. Well, Sugar Land's going to join them on tour. Oh, wow. And so I'm like, ta, Sugar Land. I'm like, oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, yeah. I remember, I remember Sugar Land. I remember, like, I hate this thing. Um, just love it. I, I listened to, I used to. 
Michael. I doubt it. I, I okay, Michael. I'll make a. I'll make. Oh, you almost picked that tip, bet, Michael. I bet you. Okay, I tell you what. If I'm wrong, I'll lip sync. Uh, not lip sync, but I'll sing a a song of your choice. Okay. This is where I'm going, just to prove prove what you're saying wrong. So I'm putting that as a bet, saying that there won't be any lip syncing. I'm calling it now. I trust Steven Tyler. I'm calling it now. There won't be any lip, lip syncing. No, the band, you nitty. <laughs> Diabetic. No, the band. And so, yeah, so my bet is that if I'm right, okay, you have to sing. You have to release a new song. And if I'm wrong, Michael, I'll sing a song of your choice. Live on YouTube. But I just want, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm going to prove to you that he, that Steven Tyler will not be lip syncing. I'm calling it right now. He will not be lip syncing. He will not. I'm standing by that. He will not. I can understand your point of view, and I respect your view. I mean, I understand with the whole Don Henley um, fiasco and all that. Um, it's just that I don't see Tyler Lim thinking at all. Period. I know. He wouldn't have gone through this much trouble just to lip sync on stage. I don't see Tyler doing that at all. Well, that's just me. But if you're up for it, I'll tell you what. You don't even have to release anything. If I, if you win. If I win, I just win. But if I'm wrong, I'll sing a song, one of your songs, one of your what, what, whatever your favorite song is. I just want, I just want to prove that wrong because I know in my heart that Steven Tyler, I, just, I don't see him doing that. I don't. <laughs> I don't. You know, and, and as a fan, I love the band. And I love Steven. Uh, I'm gonna say no on the lip syncing, but so I hope that Steven indeed is still able to say me too. But I want the one have either, yeah. The, now, the Don Henley one that's a tough one. I mean, I saw I know what you're talking about too. I'm just not very um talking about because it's not my area, but I will say, yeah, I understand what you're going through, and I actually do agree with you a little bit on that. I know, Michael. If you really think about it, okay, and Steven Tyler, I hope you're watching. This is all for you. But all I'm saying is, and the, and the band, you know, all the fans, all I'm saying is, I don't see Steven doing that at all. That is something I don't think Tyler would even do. I mean, when I saw him live, you know, I mean, it's, obviously, obviously this was before what happened, but I never noticed any lip syncing then. I didn't even notice any lip syncing eons ago, even with their older stuff, so it's like, I I understand that there could be, like, precautions with Tyler's voice. I get that. I do. I respect that. But I think, I don't see Steven lip syncing at all. I think Steven's gonna go in there and do what he does best. You know, I trust him enough. Do that too. I'm for peace sake. I've been with since I was six years old, and you know, and here I am at forty one, and um, he's capable of doing wonderful things, and I, mean, I know you agree with me on that too. And it's just, I do not see him lip syncing. I think he's gonna take the bull by his horns, and he is just gonna march his rear end onto that stage and dazzle people's minds with his real voice. That's why I think. And the band's got to take it just as seriously as well. Oh, definitely. I can see that happening. And if I was there mm -hmm. at one of those concerts in Montreal or Toronto and he sings Dream On, I'm going to be, I'm going to have goosebumps if he did it. Oh, I have legit goosebumps to Cheyenne. Man, did I have goosebumps at that concert. But anyway, that's where, that's my stance. If I'm wrong, I'll sing you a song, Michael. Steven Tyler, please let me be right. I trust you. I trust you. I trust you. Don't worry about it. I trust you. <laughs> I trust you. You're fine. Um, but anyway, back to Sugarland, James. So you like the Bon Jovi song. Yeah, I like the... Who says you can't go home? 
I yeah, I liked I liked the the part where um he was like when they show scenes of with everybody wearing a t shirt and they're building houses for people. Did he really do yeah, that? Yeah, you know, John Bon Jovi is a <laughs> Yeah, I I I'm gonna speak for a lot of the women out there. Yes, we know this Michael, thank you. <laughs> 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 no, that's true. I'm just saying, fact, yes, I'm speaking for all the other women who happen to know Sam Michael. Hi, I'll speak for all the other women, Michael. Yes, we know this. Thank you. <laughs> we all know this, Michael. That's nothing new. <laughs> but anyway, um, yeah, so it's all called. Who says you can't go home? And John Bon, jo bon Jovi actually did that with the lead singer of, well, actually with Sugarland. And the lead singer of Sugarland showed up for the video. And that song, Who Says You Can't Go Home, has been a staple to every single Bon Jovi concerts. It's a staple. I was there, oh boy. I was, I reckon I heard that song in 2013. And, um, and that was such a great song. You know, it's just like, he grabs, I remember it perfectly. He grabs, you know, John Bon Jovi grabs his black guitar, gorgeous black acoustic guitar. And he shows him, he goes, it's all right. And they point to the crowd and go, all right, it's all right, all right. Then he goes, says, who says you can't go home? And then the whole band starts to play. Wow. No, it's a great song, you know. It, it yeah. It, I recognize it the name Jennifer Nettles. I said, "Where have I heard this name before?" Oh, she's been around in the music in the music area. She's done her own solo stuff and a whole bunch of other stuff as well. Um, other appearances as well. Um, did he really? Did he really uh, build homes for people, Bon Jovi? Because I saw them wearing uh, T-shirts with his name. Oh on yeah, it. no, it was for a. I reckon it was for a project they were helping with. So and Bon Jovi. Has always given the help fans and um, even John Bon Jovi and his wife Dorothea, wonderful people. He and his wife are just just beautiful people. I they was help. singing along. I was going, "All right, all oh, right." Oh, you should hear it live. He was like, "All right, it's all right." Yeah, I'm like, like I'm like, this is like a okay, my you guys, this is like 2013, but I'm going, "Oh, it's all right, it's all right." <laughs> Like, I'm in the cheap seats, but I'm going, it's all right, all right. And, you know, it's just, it, it's fun. And that song is fun to hear live. I love it. I love it. I love Bon Jovi for it. And, um, I, you know, I, you know, that song, I think, you know, it became a staple, too, for me. Because I remember, it was when their Have a Nice Day record came out. That The song could be found on that have a nice day record and I remember traveling with my parents. I have the C D and we're only about ooh, ten minutes from G Town, really. Slanker, North Colorado, G Town. And um and I played that song on the way home. So it was kinda of nostalgic after a long trip. But wow. no, it's good. Sugarland's a good band in general too. I like their songs, oh like that song I showed you, Baby Girl. I like that one. Um, Joey, and that's an apology song. Mm. Basically, that song talks about, I'm sorry, I'm I was in the wrong, I'm sorry. No. And then, my, my personal favorite songs by them are, um, You Take Me As I Take Me As I Am, which is basically about if you okay, if you choose to love me, you're gonna take me as I am. I'm not changing for anybody. This is who I am. And now, if you listen to the song, Take Me As I Am by Sugarland, there's a line that goes, I'm slow to trust, but quick to love. I push to your heart, but I give too much. I ain't saying I'm perfect, but I promise you I'm worth it. That's how I feel, too. I'm like, wow. that's exactly who I am as a person. It's like, slow to trust, but quick to love. I push too hard, but I give too much. I ain't saying I'm perfect, but I promise you I'm worth it. And so that song is just, it speaks my mind. And then I Want To by Sugar Land's a good one. And then um, a couple other ones I can't think of at the moment. April Showers is good. 
Stay is a sad, sad song. That's a sad song, but it's so good. Um, a couple other ones I can't remember, but I can't think of. But there are some really good songs by them. But I like it, but they're back, and that, nothing makes me more happy now with Big and Rich making an announcement that they're coming back next year. We got, I got Sugar Land popping up now, and for this year, and I'm like, and of course, I'm like, well, isn't that nice? So, I don't know, I'm kind of hoping they kind of pull over to Colorado. I might like to stroll over and watch them. Hmm. I missed my chance to see them live, too. So, oh, I'm not watching them. But uh, they're a great band. Well, band. at least you have Cheap Trick to look forward to. Oh, yeah. Don't get me started on that. I'm like, nah, 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 nah. four months. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, the tickets aren't sold out yet. You're not. You're not. I'm keeping an eye on it. The seat, the seat that I'm looking at is going to be right... See, here's the thing with the Stampede, guys. It's that I'm going to... Okay, I'm going to babble here. Just give me a second here. So, basically, the Grill Stampede, they just added the catwalk. So, artists can just... Well, this was last year they added the catwalk, so artists and bands can go up closer to the crowd. So, normally where I'm at, I don't... I mean, I was planning on going to standing, but that's sold out. So, what I'm going to do is that normally I'm in the... Um, in the stands next to the stage. Because there's a really good spots to the right and left of the stage where you can sit and watch the bands take and leave the stage. Wow, that's amazing. It, it's like the spot. Mm -hmm. I was pretty close to the spot when I saw uh, Lee Bryce last year. So, I'm looking forward to it, though. I think that's the only concert I'm going to. Which, well, for the time being, because I don't know where Vegas stands right now. Or if I know. But... Uh, we're still looking at October and November. But anyway, um Uh but yeah, no, no, Cheat Trick is gonna be a good concert. I'm excited for it. I know who played Cheat Trick on this radio show uh, earlier, so I can't remember which one today, but I remember it was the one like mommy's alright, daddy's all right. All right. <laughs> Just That's seem a little weird. Surrender, yeah. surrender. Yeah. surrender. Yeah. It's gonna be great. It's going to be a great concert. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to be reviewing it for my blog, which is going to be great. So I'm excited. I'm stacked for that. I don't know. I'm going to feel I'm going to be singing and writing at the same time like I did. <laughs> or well, like I did at the Freak Zone Parade Tour, but I was also headbanging at the same time. And seriously, people, I'm a headbanger. I am serious. If you saw me at the Freak Zone Parade Tour last year, I was headbanging. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, heavily. Um, you know, I was heading to a ministry, and then Rob Zombie uh, went on stage, and and he was a. By the way, speaking of him, he's a hoot. And so if Rob Zombie shows up anywhere near you, let where you live, go see him. He's a hoot. What I loved is I didn't understand a darn thing that was going on. <laughs> it was great. I just didn't understand a darn thing that was going on on that stage. But anyway, that's. But anyway, put. But, but when I heard the first oh, three drum beats of Dracula, I was just, you know, just going like, oh, just head banging. I couldn't help it. I put down my notepad and pad wow. it. <laughs> it's a good song. I was head banging through the whole thing. Cool. I still head banging to it when I hear it. You know, I'm like, day, day, down the world, down the world. Plus, Free Sun Parade, I believe Free Sun Parade is happening again this year. So, if Rob Zombie, Coop, and um, Ministry of Filter are playing near you this year, go see him. You won't regret it. You won't regret mm. it. I, it was fun. I had a blast. I possibly liked him, too. Like the whole chore as well. But Cheap Trick, I think, is going to be my own concert. I think. I don't know. I'm kind of hoping to see where Vegas lands. Because I won't either have planned to see Steve Miller or Leonard, or Leonard Skinner or, or maybe Weezer. I haven't decided yet. So. Leonard Skinner would be great. I mean, I know they're all the rich members are dead, but man, Leonard Skinner music in here in Northern Colorado? Come on. Caitlin's new channel name. Caitlin's Headbang Court. <laughs> you got to <laughs> <the> Headbang. <clears throat> You'd be very surprised to see me have bang. You'd be like, oh, she can have bang. I mean, I can head bang people. It's I have a whole list of headbang songs. I just 
Are you going to come on the panel on Sunday on uh, on Royce's for the doors? Is it the Sunday? Yep, I'm going up. Yeah, so I got some stuff to show. Hi, mom. Hi, Patricia. Is hi, Patricia. I got a question. So James's shirt. Okay. Did you? I think you meant to send that to me, right? No, she bought it for me. No, for my birthday. Your opinion doesn't count. <laughs> yes, it does. It does not. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry, people. I've been very sensitive since Kiss, since December Kiss said goodbye. So I've been very sensitive lately. Forgive me. <laughs> but, um, very sensitive. I don't know, guys. I don't know. Sun, you know, it's going to be on a Sunday. You know, I don't know. I love the doors, but who wants to see this face? I mean, please, I'd just like to. Hey, I'm brave. I do it. I just asked. Uh, I asked uh, Royce before everybody was going up. I said, "Do I? Do you want me in the chat or do you want me to come up?" He says, "Come up, brother." I know I was there. Well, well I was you like, know, "Whoa, okay." I know, I know. I was thinking about. Um, I just like hanging in chat and driving James W nuts. <laughs> I, 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 when I'm up on camera, I, I watch you guys. He's, but he started it. That's all I'm saying. He started it. And Royce just sits there and does his thing on the panel. <laughs> he just oh, look at your mom! It's your size, Caitlin. We'll find these <laughs> locks, no problem. <laughs> yes. <laughs> told you. See, 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 told you. Thank mine, you, mine, 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 mine. <laughs> Thank you, Patricia. I love I you. I press you. <laughs> Get your hands off my kiss shirt. <laughs> well, I'm the one wearing it. I'm sorry, people. I've been very sensitive since, since kids said goodbye in December, so I've been very sensitive since then. Forgive me. <laughs> you should have seen my face when I saw this uh, giant tiger with all the rock t-shirts. They had ACDC and some other nice. stuff. There. The That's why I, do, I do need a new ACDC shirt. That's what I do need. I was gonna, I was gonna get the ACDC, but uh, I didn't like the cover of it. I forget what was on there. Well, and Richard I, Simmons just posted on Facebook. What's his quote of the day? Well, no, I want to ask you a favor. Jane Leno is a wonderful man I've known for decades. Please keep him and his wife Mavis in your prayers. Thank you, love Richard. Wow, something happened with Jay Leno. Jay Leno's sick. I don't know, but he said, but all Richard is asking, you see it right here. Well, kind of. Huh. I but used to watch right him back that, in the day. Dave, uh, I used to watch him, David Letterman, back in the day. Apparently, yeah, Richard Simmons has asked for us to pray for Jay Leno. Uh, to wow. pray for Jay, Jay Leno and his wife, Mavis. Oh. oh I got to respond to this real quick. Sorry. Whoop. That's weird. We'll see, you know what? We'll see a prayer on here. How about that? Okay. okay. I'm okay. all for that. I'm going to pray on my podcast right now. I got you, Richard. I'm going to pray on my podcast right now. Right now, please keep us posted. I got you, Richard. I got you. Woo! Please keep, please keep me updated. Jay and your wife, you're in our prayers. We love you. We bless you and all that stuff. So let's go and ahead and pray okay. for Jay Leno and his wife, Mavis. And you guys, it's just like, what, 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 what? I'm sorry. When somebody I care about asks us to pray, we pray. Oh, yes. <laughs> we pray. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, Richard, love you. We're praying. All right. Right. Uh, what's going on here, James? I'm looking up uh, James. I know this pray first, then then you can look it up. Oh, what? It says here, Jay Leno granted con conservatorship over his wife due to dementia diagnosis. Hate dementia. So that's what's going on. Pardon me, guys. My mom suffers from dementia. Is a monster. Let's go ahead and pray. <laughs> Okay, guys, um, we're going to pray. So pray for Jay Leno and his wife, Mavis. Um, his wife apparently has dementia, and my mom is fighting that right now. And I'm like, hate that. That is a monster. 
And I can imagine. That's robbing me from my mom. So let's go ahead and pray. All right. right? I'll, I'll leave. Ready. I'll okay. leave, okay? All right. Lord God, um, I just received, we just received word that Jane Leno and his wife are going through a challenging time and, and dementia is not nice at all. Cause I'm, and you know, I'm dealing with, with over here. I know a whole lot of other people are dealing with as well. And Lord, it's a very stressful thing. And I know this, you know, this, we know this. And so we come to you in prayer and we pray that you, you, you offer security, loving, love, and grace towards Shane Leno and his wife, Mavis. I cannot handle them how, they, how, how everything feels right now, but I'm sure it's frustrating and scary. And I pray that you send protection, love, and be with them. I send them grace and um, just take care of them. It's scary stuff, because right? I know I see you here too, Lord. And I know you know that. Thank you, Lord, and please be with them. In Jesus' name, amen. <sighs> oh. Yeah, yeah. You got oh. a little emotional there. My mom has dementia. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And that's why I got a little, little, I'm sorry, guys. You guys rarely see me act out like that a little bit, but it's because my mom has, thank you, Michael. Amen. Yeah, amen. You know, and my mom has dementia. So it's like, and it's taking her away from me. You know, it's robbing me, robbing me, from robbing me. So I'm trying not to cry because I'm experiencing it right now. So, um, did Jane Leno and his wife, our thoughts and prayers are with you, and um, ah, just hang in there. I'm kind of going through the same thing, so just hang in there. Okay, but we love you. Hello, Bell. Hi, Bell. How are you? How are you? Don't mind the tears. We had, we, we had to say a prayer, but hello, good to see you. Whew. Just give me a second, guys. I'm just. My mom has dementia. I'm just. Whew. I'll be okay. We're going to shake it off. Shake it up. Let's talk about the Newport Jazz Festival. Because I'm. Not sure good. Yeah, <clears throat> it's okay, Belle. It's okay. Um, it's all good. So. Uh, but anyway, yeah, that's just um, sad. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll be okay. I'll be okay. It's just something relatable happened, and we prayed about it. So, it, it, it's a good is a good friend asked to ask uh, for us to pray. So, and and we pray. So, when you have a friend, somebody says, "Please pray for my friends," we pray. In the story. No questions asked. Yep. No questions asked. We pray. Thanks for looking it up, James. But anyway, um, no problem. Yeah. So Newport Jazz Festival since tomorrow's your birthday. I pulled up and I pulled a. Oh yeah, Bell. Oh, I agree. No, we do. Oh my gosh, we do. We do. We do. I can tell you how important prayers are. I can. Yeah, they're they're important. And I'm gonna cry like a baby. So. But um, I'm trying to cry, hard to cry like a baby right now. But um, but yeah, prayers are important. There. Focus, Daniel, son. Focus. I'm trying to, but you know, it's just it hurts when you know. Yeah, you, I know. Somebody else is feeling what you're feeling, so it's kind of it hits your heart a little bit. You know what I mean? Ah, give me. You'll be okay. You'll be okay. All right. Uh. Newport Jazz Festival. Let's talk about. All right. So, um, James, give me a minute, will you? No problem. She'll be okay. <clears throat> yeah. So, um, yeah, we all have to pray sometimes for for people and everything. I pray for everybody, even people I don't know. Because everybody needs prayers once in a while in their life. Yeah. I always look guy. That's right. Yeah. Show me. Okay. Sign the floor. I'm back. Sorry, guys. I just said. Uh, okay. So, James, this is almost your birthday. There's a Newport Jazz Festival happening this year. 
Ooh. Because I know you were talking about, and just so anybody knows, those who missed it, we just prayed for Jane Leno's wife. I'm in tears because my mom is currently battling dementia, so kind of hit home to me a little bit. So, oh, man, that's tough. Welcome back, Dave. I hate to see people here. I will pray for her. Anybody that asks me, I need prayers. I'll... Thank you for that. I appreciate you. I'll be praying for you too, my friend. Thank you. So, since you know you want to talk about a jazz club and all that, I talk about the Newport Jazz, Newport uh -huh. Jazz Festival. And so, basically, it's this gigantic festival on the East Coast that has these top-notch jazz artists wow. that I actually like. People, I listen to jazz too. <clears throat> Amen. Yeah, thank, thank you, Dave. And so, and jazz is such a versatile, um, um, it's such a versatile uh, music genre. So, and uh, yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and read it for you. Now, the guy, you know, do you remember the band Outcast? Yeah. You know, oh, your dad has dementia? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's rough. I'm sorry. Sorry. Is that when you don't remember stuff? Huh? Is that when you don't remember stuff? Well, dementia? Alzheimer's and dementia. Yeah. And um, so, yeah, so the guy from Outcast, the lead singer, Andre 3000, is a solo artist now, and he's going to be headlining the Newport Jazz Festival. On Friday, wow. August second, and he's great. He just released his new um album too. It's really good, very jazzy, very bluesy. Um, believe it or not, people, I like jazz. Oh, what? We live in a world that makes us wonder why things happen like they do, but God's so good, holds us tight, take care. Amen, Dave. I was just uh saying that uh earlier today. <laughs> Ironically enough, I was just saying that earlier today on a, a message board. <laughs> Oh, he sure does, Dave. God gets us through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. Excuse me. My mom's at a point where she calls my sisters different, uh, by by the by different names. She thinks she has the right person, but she doesn't. You know, and she sleeps a lot. She gets angry a lot. Um, you know, and it's just it's catching up to her. Unfortunately, it's no fun. It's not fun to watch. I hate it though. If I, if I could take anything away right now, it would be the Parkinson's and dementia from my mom. I would take away that if I had that opportunity. But anyway, um, Andre 3000. Then you got Kamazi Washington. Now, he's really good. You might like him, James. I need to send you some of his music. Work loves him. Brittany Is Howard. instrumental stuff? Yeah, that's the jazz stuff. Yeah, I love that. Thank you, Bell. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. Thank you. And then you got like PJ Morton's good. Gla yeah, the Galactic with Irma, Irma Thomas is good. Moonchild, um, Bill Fraser Four, they're good. I mean, this whole lineup is just fabulous, James. Elvis Costello, he's gonna be there. I like Elvis Costello. Ghost Notes good. Yeah, I mean everybody. <laughs> it's all jazz. <laughs> Yeah, Bell, you <coughs> say it loud, brother, brother Hot Fox. Say it freaking loud. Yeah, yeah. My dad was mm -hmm. Yeah, my mom unfortunately has her um uh moments and the and unfortunately those moments are me for no reason. More than anything else. I'm negating the end of those for whatever reason. But then yeah, but yeah, I think you might like this line of James. You're very versatile lineup, but yeah, the who was it? The um, Kamazi Washington, mm. uh, the Kamazi Washington, he's good. You might like you'll like him, he's very um, jazz oriented. So, oh wow, yeah, very jazz, very bluesy. I think he plays like the trumpet and the saxophone, I reckon. Yeah, Ooh. well, you said she could, but yeah, but I just want to tell you, like, you know, if you need to keep your eyes open, Jace, because a lot, there's a, there's even a Canadian jazz festival. Yeah, we have one in Montreal, the Montreal Jazz Fest. Yeah. 
yeah, we're covering that. I'm like, oh geez, no. I wish we had one in downtown Fredericton here. That'd be cool. I want to go. I want to go. I know here in northern NoCo, northern Colorado. Um. Um, I know we have our own little jazz festival, and the college I went to has a school of music, and all the music students put put on free concerts and stuff all week. You no, know, let's take a look at Chicago. It's Chicago, but I'm kind of, I think, I reckon there is a uh, jazz fest going on in Chicago. Let me take a look for you. Yeah, there's a Chicago jazz festival. Yeah, here you go, Belle. Chicago jazz festival, August 29th through September 1st. Ooh. Yeah. It's, well, great place to have a jazz festival, too, man. Ooh. But our jazz festival up here is pretty cool. Even during our arts, we have jazz festival. Nice. <clears throat> See who they get. So, you got, oh, so Thursday, October 31st. It's going to be all over the place. At Millennium Park, Preston Bradley Hall, uh, Chicago Cultural Center. And then Friday, September 1st, you can go to Millennium Park and the J. Pritzker Pavilion. It's September 2nd. Yeah, I hear you, Michael. You, you know, I I like some jazz, but but with like with the company I work for, I've gotten into really liking jazz. I mean, really liking it. And then you go to Millennium Park Pavilion now Sunday, September 3rd. You can go back to Millennium Park and J. J. Prince or Billy. But anyway, look up the um, Chicago Jazz Festivals, October, August 29th through September 1st. Check, check that out. Just go to, what is it? Uh, just look it up, Chicago Jazz Fest. I, I remember this because uh, I wrote a story on it for work. So, I like jazz. I mean, I don't have like a whole lot of jazz. I like some jazz. You know, I like Stan Getz, Cap Calloway. Big band. I have Dave Brubeck. Uh, I do have Frank Sinatra on vinyl, but I don't think he's jazz. I have Bing Crosby, but I don't think he's jazz either. Well, yeah, Bing. Uh, um, what's his face there? Uh, F uh, Frank Sinatra is a little bit jazz. Is he? Yeah, oh, some, I of, the think he's some like of the classy. music is I, jazz. I was gonna say like he's more like classy, classy music, which I like. Fly mm. me to the moon. Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. That's kind of a jazzy tune. Yeah, no, that's a great song. Fly me to the... If I ever get married, that's going to be one of my reception songs. Fly me to the moon. Let me play amongst the stars. Let me see what life is like on a Jupiter and Mars. Now, I got to bring up an important little thing here tonight. Uh, bing! I want to know what everybody thought about the eclipse. Oh, I missed it. I saw it. Was it total? Yep the gla the glasses didn't work. It was dark. I was out on my front my front deck. I looked up with just the bare naked eyes. I looked up and I saw when the moon was covering the sun. You see the little gold ring around it. Uh -huh. It was the most beautiful thing I ever saw. I missed it because I was working. Oh, uh, what? Maha Vishnu. Yeah. Orchestra. Steely Dan. I, I grew up with you on the Steely Dan. Yeah. Car Duh. Car Duh. Carl Stanley. Duh, Caitlin. <laughs> with his book. book. Oh! Oh! I have the original Pressy of Wired by Jeff Beck. That was that is oh. my only uh, Jeff Beck I have on vinyl. I have the original Pressy of Jeff Beck Wired. And the only reason I bought that, now thanks for bringing it up, is because I took History of Jazz while I was back in. Um, in college, and um, I fell in love with the song. Uh, did it the best 20 minute, yeah. No, oh, Tony Bennett, may he rest in peace. No, I know what you're saying. You got don't apologize. I got you, Bill. I got you. <laughs> and um, yeah, I fell in love with Goodbye, my pork, pork like pork pie, pork pie hat, I think it's what it's called, by Charles Mingus. I fell in love with that song. Everything from the saxophone, just oh, gorgeous. And then 
Jeff Beck has always been one of my favorite guitarists of all time. And so when I learned that he did cover that song, I went to go find it. And so I went to a record store and I found Wired. Hi, Waffles. I found Wired. Hmm. Best decision, best record I ever bought. That whole record is amazing. Jeff Beck's version of Goodbye, My Poor, poor Pie Hat was just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Anything Jeff Beck does is gorgeous. <clears throat> Gosh. I mean, did you all know that he was also uh, with repaired cars and stuff? Wow. Yeah, he repaired a lot of cars. Stored cars and stuff. I didn't know that. I know he played with the birds. Yeah. Wired, a classic. Oh, indeed it is, Michael. Oh, my heart. Mm hmm. But, um,. But it's such a great record. Wired is such a great record. I just scared myself. Why? With my knowledge of music, how much I know, how I knew Jeff Beck was in the birds. I just everything I know and, and when I hear a song come on the radio, even before they start singing, I know what the title of the song is. And my sister goes, Whoa, you're good. I said, That's why I have a channel. That's why I co host. Because I know my music. Uh, those are great too. Those are two great albums. Michael Beck, Bogart, and the Pete a, a piece is good too. I, if I if I if I pronounce that right, that last one, Dave. I don't know. Wow. Oh, I know Jeff Beck was. I didn't even know that until Alice Cooper brought that up on his uh, radio show. I'm like, really? Like, I did not know that. That that is actually a really cool fact. You know, Jeff Beck repairing cars. I'm like, that's actually really cool. It's kind of like, oh, who was it? Who told me that? Who told me that? Uh, yes, he was Jeff Davidson. Indeed, he was. Oh, who told me that? You know I what mean, I think would be would, oh, would have been cool back in the day? Jeff Beck and Jimi Hendrix having a guitar shredding little solo together. No, uh, like all the vampires and arrows but torn together. Now that you put that in my head, I'm like, that would be nice. <laughs> we all know what's on Kim's mind right now. <laughs> mm -hmm. I want rock. Oh man, but yeah, what's the coolest? Yo, speak of that. There's something about Joe Perry from Aerosmith I didn't even know about. And I'm like, huh? Did you? Okay, so. Joe Perry is left-handed, okay, James? Joe Perry is left-handed. I told you about that last week. Oh, that was you. Never mind. Yeah, that was me. <laughs> I knew that. I knew that. Okay, so. <laughs> I'm dying. I'm Ow. Tired, dude. Mm. Drink some water. Need some water. Yeah. <laughs> mm. Yeah, but this is what uh, James told me. Sorry, Coop. This is information, sorry. Um, uh, so okay. Joe Perry's left-handed, and he plays a right-handed guitar. Seriously, he's left-handed and plays a right-handed guitar. And I'm like, I was not aware of that. I did not even know that. And that even makes me like Joe Perry even more. He's a versatile guitarist, too. Very versatile. I mean, Jeff Beck was also a very a versatile guitarist. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> But yeah, when, when James told me that, I'm like, I did. I was not aware of it. Kind of like Wayne Campbell. I was not aware of that. I and I'm aware. kicking myself now because I should have, I should have done a Jimmy messenger Jimmy. call with you and, and shared my screen so you could hear that interview. I don't know. I'm just waiting for, I'm just waiting for you to send me that shirt. My precious. No, that is my shirt. It's not your shirt. It's my that birthday gift my for my mom, damn it. <laughs> Look, I've been very sensitive since December. I want that shirt. <laughs> oh, hey, I'm Captain Beck and Paige. Bow. I'm not bowing to you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not bowing to anybody. I'll, I curtsy. I could just, no, curtsy. <laughs> bowing to Michael. No. No. <laughs> and this shirt was cheap. It was eleven ninety nine. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah, but hurry up! I'm waiting for the shirt. I can 
Get you one. I want one. You want one? I want one. Give me it. Uh, Jimi Hendrix is why oh, I got that's great, Dave. Guitar. I love that. Oh, Dave, that is that that is the right thing to hear right now because Jimi Hendrix, I'm sure he's inspired so many guitarists. He did, Bill. Uh, yeah, I think he, yeah, he did play the guitar upside down, did, Bill. Yeah. If I, if I'm not mistaken. No, no, you're right. And when he did the Star Spangled Banner at Woodstock, because I saw the movie, and when he let let his guitar on fire, he played with his freaking teeth. He was like, <laughs> with his teeth. He was playing with his teeth. I was like, wow. It, this it guy looks so for Bill, so that Jimi Hendrix opened up for the monkeys. He did. Yeah. Well, that's a that's an awesome uh, opening act to have. Well, apparently he threw his guitar when the whole crowd went, "Ah, we want Davy, we <coughs> want Davy." <coughs> Tossed his guitar and left. I, that's a good story, though. I I don't find it funny at all. I think it's kind of cool, though, like a little mesh of Hendrix and the Monkeys. I'm like, yeah, it's a good mesh. They have a good. More, I curse you, but I don't curse you for anybody, not just for anybody. <laughs> hey, I think we're going over time here. We're an hour and one minute. No, I'm not, no, my schedule's changed a little bit. Okay, cool. It changed a little bit for time being, so we're okay. I'm in a rush. I'm having fun. Yeah, I'm not. We're, we're going to hang out a little bit more. Guys, I'm sorry about getting to your ride earlier. That was not planned, but, um, you know, Bell gets it. You know, I'm sure a lot of you get it. Um, it just when someone goes through something that that you're kind of going through, it kind of, it hits you. You know what I mean? It hits you. By all means, I wasn't playing crying, so I apologize on that. But man, it's just but of course, again, we we pray for Jay Leno's wife, and we'll keep praying and yeah <clears throat> for comfort and peace, and that's the best we can do. You know, and prayers sometimes the best things we can do. Long, uh, long story. I'm not going to fully explain. They're just there. They're just there. Not going to explain, but they're just there. So, just there. But anyway, um, but yeah, I mean, other than that, you know, um, other than prayer, I think it's great. Speaking of that, I've been doing, um, I've been working out for five days straight now. Wow. <clears throat> How's that going for, uh, for you? I kind of found out that working out has been helping my mental, my my mental aspects. That's so, good. That's good, man. Today is double workout. And mm -hmm. a single workout, then you go back to double. Are you guys, speaking of working out, James, mm -hmm. you should have seen me. The, I was dancing to, what was it? Uh, Cotton Eye Joe. You know a song? Come yeah. you know, da, 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 long time ago. Where did it come from? Where did where'd you go? Where did you come from? There's, from this, okay, there's this footwork, okay, where where this the structure goes like like that, like like up down. What was it? Yeah, up down, left right. But you do it like a little bit fast, okay, and. I couldn't even catch up. My foot, my feet is like this, guys. My feet are going like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. It makes it so, it looks so easy. Uh, uh, duh, duh. And I'm, my feet's going like. <laughs> Almost fell over doing that. It was funny. But I was laughing. And then there was another time, too, where I had trouble matching. I was, what was I doing early today? I got uh, me mixed up. I was doing Blast Off Disco. And mind you, people, I have a mean disco dance and a mean cha-cha dance. Well, look out. Ooh. Not even my, not even this can stop me. And so, and, um, okay, so here I'm doing the disco. I'm having fun. By all means, I'm having fun doing this. You know, tonight's nice workout should be even more fun. I can't wait. And, um, yeah, what was it? And what was I doing? I was, um, doing something <laughs> what we were doing, but it helps me create endorphins so yeah exercise it's vital see oh <clears throat> well it's either exercise or my mind is gonna drive and ruin everything for me so i'm just gonna keep exercising through this 
this mess that I'm in, this mess I'm in, I'm just going to keep exercising. Plus, I'm on a eating plan, too. And I've been feeling a lot better, too, since I've been doing so. I have been. I've been watching my porches and everything, measuring everything. I'm doing really good with it. I'm very proud of myself. I'm terrified of treadmills. Ever since I got my knees replaced, I've been so scared of going on treadmills. I'm serious. I haven't been on treadmills since I have both my knees replaced. It's scary. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, so I can't remember what it was. It was fun, though. I love disco dancing, but for a reason, I just couldn't, my, my mind just couldn't, because I have a learning disability, guys, so my mind sometimes has trouble, you know, picking up things, and so here I am. And so what you do when you don't understand something in exercising, James, watch this. Are you watching? Yep. So, watch this, guys. So, okay, so here we go. It goes like one, two, three, and I couldn't catch up, so I just went like, oh my God. There we go, like, <laughs> I don't know what I was doing. <laughs> it's like, I don't know. <laughs> I was, I, could, I tried so hard. I stuck with it, but man. I, what were you trying to do, like this? You know, oh, yeah, no. Or go do the Egyptian, you know. <laughs> yeah, walk <laughs> like an Egyptian. Or be like free and fine and go, stay in the life. <laughs> like this, walk like an Egyptian. No, honestly, people, I swear I did this. No, I did like, you know, like this. I did. <laughs> it was fun. Oh, I could, I it was. Tonight is twist and shout. Oh, no, excuse me. Twist. What is it? Twist, sweat and shout. Sweat and shout. That's what it is. Hey, you can tell Richard Simmons he did all this. Oh. Yeah, I do tell him. I've he been working it. out with him since uh, Saturday. Wow. It's hard to go for a walk in Chicago. Oh, man, Chicago's a tough place. Oh, man. Chicago, Chicago. It's not a really good place to be at all. No? I'm just glad you're safe. Well, I can't help but jump. It's like I lost track. I'm like. Everybody in this video is just like, you know, I'm doing my best to follow everything. And, yeah, I get lost. So why do I be like Lucy in Zuma class doing my, own, <laughs> doing my own thing? You know that. Staying alive. I can imagine. <laughs> Did you do this? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, it's either endorphins or a bite from one of Mr. Toad's cookies. Oh, man. I'm going to be exercising right now, to be honest with you, Michael. It's just with my anxiety and depression has been rolling. Exercising is the best thing. Uh, and eating healthy has been the best thing I've ever done so far. And also, you know, talking to other people about it too also helps. It does. But I don't know, guys. You know, I was listening to, uh, what was, you know what I saw Catman do? Uh, a there's a song called Catman Do. Yeah, that song. You know that yeah. song? Yeah, I've heard of yeah, that. Man. Okay, so I'm gonna exercise. Well, let's see. I'll, 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 I was exercising too. Part of your part of your pants off, and mind you, my pants stayed on. Thank you. Okay, good. <laughs> we don't want any you know, uh, slip ups. Same. My pants stayed on, <laughs> but I'm dancing, and um, and I had Coop's radio show on at the same time, and so I'm working out. Next, you know, I'm like. I'm getting my high whoop. Yeah, shout out to Rich for creating his workout because my I was getting my high my high kick <laughs> during halfway through it, but I stuck with it. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff Davis. Thank you, Jeff Davidson. And can't man do it. And also I hear this energizing can't man do it. Next thing you know, I'm going like ah. <laughs> you know, I was like all over the place. <laughs> I live in a pre- Pretty okay, the airport's pretty safe around here, but me, I mean, it's getting better. I won't want to live in New York. Uh, you know, I've been living, I'm from San Diego, and that's from my heard my hometown has gang problems, so I'm kind of wow. left here. <laughs> oh, yeah, you are all of them too. He's still around. He's just, uh, what's he doing? He posted another song today, too. It's, it's sad, but it's good. Well, you know, Bill, one of the best things to come out of Chicago is the legend that is. Michael Jordan, his airness. No, the first Chicago thing. Bulls. Yeah, but I tell you, people are still going after his cards too. I mean, oh my gosh, I went after his cards too. 
But anyway, guys, yeah, so, you know, so Karen Coop's music, you know, uh, Kit Man Do, uh, that song gave me enough energy to finish the whole thing. I'm just going, like, for every single move, I'm just going, it was good, it was good, uh, booty hustler. Well, you're having fun doing it. Even if no, you make I, I, mistakes here and there. The thing is, too, when I was, like, a teenager, I used to work at Richard Simmons a lot. Then things happened, and but other than that, um, I'm glad he's still around, though. When he's he's doing well. He shares stories. He shares stories on Facebook almost every, every uh, weekday. Just about, yeah, every weekday. And then he does, uh, he, he's actually a singer, guys. And he can sing. James and I have heard his music. He can sing. Mm-hmm. And his uh, latest song, um, you know, uh, that's, that hit my feelings a little bit. I felt bad for him. I really did, too. I'm like, oh, this poor guy. I'm like, the only reason I'm like that is because I love him. You know, and it's just like, again, so I'm like, well, the best thing I could do is just be nice. So, and that's true. Pray, be nice, be positive, be a light for other people. Yep. Best thing out of Chicago was the Chicago dress. <laughs> I agree. Oh, man. Dude, I agree with you, Mike, on that. I love that. I love them. I love them. Ooh, I reckon I have Chicago on vinyl. I think I have two. Chicago okay, on. just give me a moment. I've got to go to the washroom. All this water is going okay. through. Me. <laughs> Let me mute. Mute. No one needs to hear waterfall. So. <laughs> but, yeah, no, Chicago Transit Authority. What a great band. What a great band. Man, that's a great band. And then. But man, that's Bob Seeger. But Bob Seeger, what a incredible artist too. I mean, well, there's one of his songs that I'm very connected to. Was it Night Moves? Waiting for the night moves. I like the way Frank Sinatra sings about. It. Yeah, I like anything that Frank Sinatra sings. I have like um, I do have one one of his records on vinyl. I can't remember which one. Well, where he's smoking cigarettes, can't remember all of it. Um, I have to go look through my uh, vinyl that's over there, but but with this thing on, it's not gonna happen yet. Um, but um, I have Frank Sinatra's greatest hits on CD, and such a great CD that is. And and then um, what else? Um, yeah, but Frank Sinatra's got actually. Have um, Nancy Sinatra on vinyl as well. Royce just sent me Chicago's greatest hits in vinyl. This week. Oh, Royce is awesome. I love Royce. I love it. I was pestering him not too long ago with an Alice Cooper video. Oh, speak up. Speak, speaking of. Okay. So I got Jace. I forgot this. I forgot to uh, tell you something. So, this is Cooper related. There's this cool, I have to say it to you, you can tell me your reaction, but I sent Royce this video, Michael, of Alice Cooper talking about a time where he's on stage. Okay, and he has a sword from an actual movie, a real sword. Oh, wow. According to Cooper, it was foggy. He said that alcohol could be possibly involved. <laughs> and so, I, I might not have that right, but. And so he has the sword. So, so, at, so during the set, Alice has the sword, <clears throat> and he's supposed to, you know, you know, kind of just toss it down onto this thing. Instead, he tossed it down, and the sword went through his leg. Oh, legitly went through his leg. Oh and my there, god! And there was huh. blood splattered everywhere, and the band is like, like that. And Coop realized what he did, and he got, he had a bottle of alcohol, he just poured out his wound, and kept performing. Oh, I bet that stung. <laughs> yeah, just to prove how strong he is. But when he got backstage, he goes, ow! <laughs> like, oh, I can imagine. <laughs> it's just the way he talks about, just the way he talks about the whole story, having stitches, I'm like, poor guy. You know, he's supposed to put the sword down there, but instead went through his leg. I'm like, 
Of course, when I first started, you know, I'm going. Oh. <laughs> that sounds gosh awful. Should be a good time. Mm. Electric. Yeah. No, I agree with you, Bill. But no, uh, I don't know. But my, Michael, look up that story because I'm like, I, it's on YouTube. It's a, uh, I think it's a YouTube short. You can look it up, Michael. It's like, <laughs> it's just the way, he, it's the way he talked about it. It just cracks me up how he talks about it. You know, it's always humor, but man, that sounds like that would hurt. I remember when, when he went, you know, his team released out on social media the, earlier this week. I watched it, and the first time I heard it, I'm like, oh, yeah. That <laughs> would hurt. Like, good, holy, holy Moses, good Lord, that would hurt. Ugh. But, um, but anyway, check that one out. I said it to Russ. James, I'll send it to you. Mm-hmm. Well, I think we're going to wrap things up. But before I go, again, keep Jane Leno and his wife in your prayers, guys. Um, dementia is a not very nice. And uh, and uh, just keep them in your prayers. And also be a light for other people. Even though things are not rolling your way or things are not going your way, be a light for other people. You know, surround yourself with good people. And, just, and also take care of yourself in the process. You know, that's what I'm trying to do. Oh, by the way. This hair is going away on Tuesday. So, my stress hair will be gone. I'm going to... I also... Yeah, it was it was nasty. So, wow. it's gone on Tuesday. So, hey, when... Paulina. Amen, Paulina. He put himself in Twitches and radio poses. <laughs> oh, wow. man. Look up that, that video. Hi, Paulina. Good to see you, honey. And uh, I liked your uh, video you posted on Facebook. Ah, it looked like you were having fun. I'm happy for you. Mm -hmm. But uh, look it up, Michael. Let me know what you think. Because I'm just like, at the same time, I'm going, oh, but yeah, I'm laughing. <laughs> I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> I should have been laughing, but I'm like, oh. yeah, I laugh. You know, it's just, it's just one of those things. Oh, uh, but, oh, man. But anyway, again, be a lifer. But pray for Jane Leno. And, uh, yeah. Hey, Coachella. I know. I brought that up really quick. Coachella. I'm glad you brought that up, Paulina, because I know Coachella's going live. I'm just showing up for no doubt. I'm just showing up for no doubt. That's all I'm doing. I'm just showing up for no doubt. Everything else I can show us, us about, to be honest with you. <laughs> I'm just there for no doubt. But yeah, well, if I'm live next week, you know, you're more welcome to come on. If there's a different theme, you, if you have time, I'm, you're you're more welcome to show show around. And, you know, I think a lot of people like to see Coach Bella. Yeah, and like if, he did last you know, year for us. Out. That was cool. So, I want to see you it. Know that. I'll be happy to have you on. Yeah, I don't know. Sublime. Eh, eh, you're okay. I'm I'm just there for no doubt. That's true, Kate. Life is too, it is. Life's too short. You know, I'm pretty much at a point where I'm just... I didn't even understand where my point B is, people. And I pretty much came up came up the point that wherever point B is, I don't care anymore. It's, I trust God with it. I'm just going to be a life for other people, be supportive, and to try to take care of me. Including this stupid thing. So, that's where I'm at. And that's mm -hmm. okay. I'd rather be take care of myself, take care of you no, know, and taking care of other people than to to be mentally drained and emotionally drained. To be perfectly honest with you, I'd rather do what I'm doing now. Like, I haven't been feeling this good in a long time, so I'll t I'll take it. So, but anyway, guys. So listen, keep punching and be a wife for other people. Be friends for no reason. It's probably Matthew, and I love it. Uh, I'm not gonna dye, highlight my hair. I'm gonna get cut. You know, I'm probably you, you. You'll see what I'm gonna do with that. I have an idea of what I want to do. Life's too short. Have a twix. Life's too short. Go to Vegas. Hurry. Up. Yeah. I just, I just won't go. Have a twix. No, life's too short. Go see Hollywood vampires. <laughs> life's too short. Go see uh, uh, Alan Cooper. <laughs> do you have to ask me twice? Life's short. James's shirt. 
My princess. <laughs> no, that is my shirt. No, it's not. My mom bought it for me for my so birthday. She said, I have it. So technically, that's my shirt. I've been very sensitive to December. That is my shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and he wore that shirt on purpose, too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew he There's did. a method to my madness. <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> always right nothing I, you I know love you too. i'm just at a point where i'm just embracing it but i gotta take care of me if i'm gonna make it i'm gonna need 41 i'm gonna make it even more far i gotta keep doing what i'm doing even if oh what did dave send me even if um sorry dave oh dave even, sent if, it hurts, even if it upsets other people so why do I get that spidey tingling sense? He sent, yeah, he sent me something too. I think. Good yeah, fires, really Everlong and Jazz. Oh, oh wait, I know this guy. This, yeah, Dave, this guy. Oh does wow, thing, uh, cool. Yeah, Thanks, I Dave. know this guy. I know, I know who this guy is, Dave. This guy's cool. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Yeah, he sent oh. me the same thing. I knew he would. I don't know, you know, but I'm eager to put in a. Uh, Went and shout and have Alice Cooper play over it it's just, it's just to see the dance sequence. <laughs> I mean, there was, I mean, I swear, it was something like hearing Catman do while Cat, Catman do while working out. I'm like, oh, and, uh, and what? And, and, I'm not making fun at all. I thought it was hilarious. I just, I love Richard. I always will love him. He's a good guy. I always love him. He has a place in my heart. So it's always the right now. I always is. I'm going long time. You can't. Yeah, that's where I'm at too. You know, I can't save everybody. Yeah, I'm not supposed to save everybody. No, I'm, you know, I I just can't save my mother. I accepted that a long time ago. I can't save my dad. Except to that, but I could be my own hero and save mm -hmm. me. I could be Waffles' hero wherever she went and save her. You know, like my new dog. So. But I can be my own hero. So that's where I'm kind of be. I mean, I don't want to fix anybody, but at least, you know, I want to be there to help people, you know, and uh, be the life for people and um, just be friends with it for no reason. So care. is uh, Waffles officially staying at the house for good now? No, no, she's all mine. She's been mine for about a month now. She's all mine. So your brother gave her to you? She, he wants nothing to do with her. That's... I don't know. It, it, it was a tough decision, though, because, you know, he's going to be a dad soon. And I think in October, and his girlfriend has two girls, and she didn't do too well with... Well, was didn't do too well with the kids, and I was fostering her at the time, but my brother tried to find... Trying to... Trying to find to bring her to his house, and it didn't happen. I kept working with her, and and, you know, it's coming up, it's going to be, next month will be a year without Smokey. A year. And wow. I feel this myself, like, I didn't think I would even survive a year without that dog. I didn't. Mm -hmm. I was miserable, and you knew that. Mm -hmm. And I knew that, and, and God bless me with waffles, and I haven't looked back since. So, but, why well, I hear Night Moves by, um... Bob Seger. You know that song? Night, yep, night moves. And there's some lines that says, ain't it, ain't it funny how the night moves? Mm hmm. You can be a hero, Caitlin. You can kiss away the pain. People will stand by you forever. You can take their breath away. That's right, Paulina. She can. <laughs> take my breath away. Oh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> take my breath away. Right. No, that song stuck in my head. Yeah, no. I mean, people call me. I mean, I just help because I want to. Because I care about the, that person. That's all. That's why I help because I care about that person. So, I mean, that's just who I am. But, ew. Hopefully. <laughs> Sorry, Mark. <laughs> she takes my breath away. It's... Yeah. It's Enrique, Enrique Iglesias. The son of, it's but you know, I don't mind like it. it. You know, I never heard to be friends. Julio with you know, it doesn't hurt because I think the way I see things is like the more you're nice to people and for no reason at all, 
just nice. It could do amazing things for other people. It can. I mean, I was mm. nothing but kindness lately, and fun being that kindness, and um, it's very nice. It's nice, you know. Kind of gives me the extra motivation and uh, positivity to keep doing what I'm doing. I don't know. Oh, I think it was the nineties. So, but yeah, guys, never hurts to be positive. Yeah. Never hurts. Life's too short. Be positive. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. Plus, I, I know. Like, plus, exactly, Bell. And so it's like, yep. um, I hate this cast. It's itchy. My <clears> cast <throat> has been driving nuts lately. Like, oh, God. But um, I'm just there. So I'm, plus, people, if I'm there, I'm you for no reason at all. There's a reason. So. I mean, I'm supporting Richard Simmons. Why? Because I exercised with him when I was 13, and I just saw what happened with him again, and I'm happy that he's still out there, out there doing great. So that that's one reason. One main reason. Can yeah. I read you something, Kate? Huh? This is a beautiful poem that I got from a. It's from a little poem of prayers and stuff, kind of thing. This is beautiful. It goes. And then he sent me you. This is the title of it. We have so much in common. I know you are a gift sent down to me from God above to give my, lift, my life a lift. Your kindness and compassion are truly genuine. If I could have but just one friend, I'm glad that you are mine. I talk to you like no other. You always help me see that God is always on my side and there will ever be. Your friendship fills the void I had and no one else will do. God saw my need and smiled at me, and then he sent me you. Isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. I like poems and, like that. And then at the bottom it says, uh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Amen. For his kindness Amen. endures forever. Amen. 1 Chronicles 1634. Amen, amen, amen. And this was written by Denise A. DeWald. Wow. Thank well, also, too, I was going to so, uh, more, more than likely, Bill. More than likely. Um, well, you know, I support Coop, but, you know, Coop's music and his radio show. The reason I do that is because <clears throat> music and radio show has really, uh, has really helped me through my toughest times. I mean, man, back in 2022 was my worst times with what, mentally, and his radio show really helped me, and I'm forever grateful for that. So that's why, that's why I'm always supporting him no matter what. You know, Richard helped me too, has helped me a lot of ways. So I support him no matter what. You know, it's just support people that are good for your soul. Let's put it that yep. way. Yeah. Support people mm -hmm. that are good for your soul. The new Amen. boys, they're good for my soul. I support them. Toby Mac, he's good for me. He's good for my soul. I support that Bon Jovi, Kiss, Eric, you name it. You got me. You guys got me. It's better for your mental health to be nice as well. Oh, I agree. I mean, I think, especially the way this world is going, um, it never hurts to be kind. It never hurts to help others. Because, you know, we don't know what other people are going through. I don't know what you're going through. I mean, sure, you guys might have an idea what I'm going through right now, but there's some stuff I don't even tell you. So it's like, we don't know what other people are going through. And the best thing you do is be kind. And again, this all goes back to that Richard Simmons post. If, if somebody asks me, asks me to pray for some for something, I will pray. And the story. It's kind of like a toddler with a kind of like a toddler with a phone. The toddler wants you to talk on that phone. You will talk on that phone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the story. Say it's for you. If my dog wants a belly rub, she's going to get a belly rub. Which I did to Bella the other day. I gave her belly rub on Saturday. And then the other dog, Java, came over to me and was giving me kisses on my cheek while I was giving her, her belly rub. Then he rolled over and wanted a belly rub, too. So I had to give him one. <laughs> they're like, oh, you can't. Oh, they're like, oh, belly rubs? I do like belly rubs. No, she Waffles is actually getting to the point where she can really trust me enough to give her belly rub. So I'm getting somewhere. I could get her to a point where she could play with me as well. So I'm well, getting somewhere. Good. I know she was abused pretty bad, but 
but I knew all I knew is that she's right there, but she needs some TLC and uh, some patience at time, and that's why I gave her, and she's turning out to be just fine, huh? You're a good girl. Come here. What we do, my baby girl? What we do, my precious? She's Hi, good. Waffles. Let's see. Hi, everybody. Okay, see you there. Hi, baby. Waffles. Where are you? Oh, Where I love your shirt. Ghostbusters. <laughs> Waffles. Oh, there she is. You can see her. Come here. Hi, Waffles. Oh. Here she is. Aww. Hi, Waffles. Here she is. Hi, baby girl. Say hi, everybody. I'm Waffles. Aww. I'm a good girl. Hi, Waffles. How you doing, girl? Yeah, I love you kisses. I love my new mom. She's the best. Huh. Aww. Say we love. She's like, I love Alice Cooper's radio show, and I watch her dance like an idiot. Her. <laughs> That's so cute. <laughs> I don't want when we're going, uh, Dave. We're just winging it tonight. Oh, ha ha ha, Paulina. <laughs> well, actually, I'm gonna head out now. So yeah, my schedule changed. Got some changes coming up. Changes have been placed. Um, not gonna go into more details. I'll spare you guys that one. But it's all good though. You know, I'll be fine. It's just if anybody, we're all going through things, and I think it's. I don't mean to tell me, but it's not. I'm not. We're not the only ones that are dealing with dementia. No offense. I'm like, it's awful. I know waffles loves you guys, and um, I don't wish on anybody. I don't. If I had a superpower, I would take everything away from my mom to let her enjoy life. That's what I would do. But I don't have that. You just got to pray. All I do is pray. Get up and go. That's all I do. Mm -hmm. Trust God with it and just go. That's what I do. Yeah. All right. So. I'll try. Oh, you got two pit bulls? I love pit bulls. Sweet ducks. I used to work in uh, dog kennels back in the day, and um, and what? And uh, I used to deal with aggressive dogs. They hated everybody else, but they loved me. I understood that they hate the doctor. I'm kind of like that way too, but I don't bite or kiss or anything. Oh, I tell somebody stabs my knees with a giant drain needle, but that's a whole. <laughs> I mean, those are huge. Things are, they're like yeah, but the knees are like yay big needles. That go directly into your knee. I'm not kidding. It was awful. Wow. Every time I think of needles now, I think of the, the big needles stabbing me. I'm like, I, I have to deal with it, but you know, but. I remember the doctor on the Flintstone, he got this gigantic needle and he's going to stick into Fred. <laughs> Every time I see a needle. Oh, Nika, I love Ghostbusters. That's my childhood, Bill. Yeah. I, I, I still have to see everything. the Frozen Empire movie. I want to see the new one. Everything. All right, guys, listen, we love you. Keep Jay Leno and his in your prayers. I'll, uh, if I know more, I'll let you know. But I'm just going by what Richard Simmons said. So, mm -hmm. But it was so sweet that he asked for prayers. So I'm like, oh, absolutely. I'm like, oh, absolutely. I got you. Is it outro time? Okay, yeah, subscribe to Michael Nolan, Paulina. Dave. Yeah, no, it's the, the reason yes. why I wrap up so soon, I'm going to be perfectly honest with you guys, is because of my mom's medicine schedule. She's on a lot of medicine right now, and, and I have things going on that um, that I don't really want to talk about, but um, and so, things are kind of changing right now, because we're kind of testing something, so we'll, uh, I'll kind of hope this show stays a little bit longer, but at the same time, I don't want to bore anybody to death, which I'm pretty sure I'm doing right now. And um, and so it's just um, it's just the way things are rolling over. It just goes it just goes by what the plan is, you know. It's just it's just it's what it is. So um, right now we're just on a total different schedule for right now. And it might be changing back. We don't, I don't know yet. I know I know nothing. I just rolled the I just rolled the punches. I do. Mm -hmm. You just get up. Thank God you have another day. Get up. I get up. Take my medications. Nah, nah, nah. You know, get coffee. Get breakfast. If it's a double workout, get moving. Live. Life's short, people. Do what's right. You know, be humble and kind. That's all I gotta say. Is be humble and kind. Never hurts. <sighs> 
I've never done a bad thing. So, all right, I'm out. I got to go. I got things to do. I got to cook at 8 o'clock tonight. I got another workout to do, which I'm excited about. I got for. the tab form at 10. Oh, who's the guest again? Uh, what's his name? Buck Dharma of uh, Blue Oyster Cult. Oh, that's BOC, Raping Yeah. Up. The Don't Fear the Reaper. See, I think, yeah. Man, one of them could play last night by BOC that I love. It's like Supernatural. I think it's what's called. But Blue Oyster called Supernatural. Uh, I think so. Oh, good night, Dr. Nick. You. Hey, take care of yourself, okay? Yeah. I'll keep you in your prayers, all right? Keep your head up. You're going to be just fine. I might not know what's going on, but it's going to be okay. So just keep your head up. Keep your head up. I'm too. I'm keep too. your head up. Hold your head up. Oh, up, uh, yeehaw. Oh, yeah, I gotta do my outro. I almost forgot about that. All right, here we go. And in the end, the love you take is equal to the love you make. Yeehaw! So, listen, guys, they say tomorrow's is James' is what, 52nd birthday? 55. But I wish I was oh, 25. Yeah, okay. I wish I was 25. Thank you for being here, yeah, Dave. For any person, too. Amen. You, you too. You too. Um, James, what was it? Oh, and Dave, I'll get back. To you. Um, I I think I have an inkling what I might get with the the uh, the the card, the, the the Amazon gift card you're sending me. I'm I got a few ideas what I want. I'm looking at some Clint Eastwood movies because I love Clint. He loves Clint. Uh, but I'm not sure what I want yet. So thank you, and uh, I hope everybody has an amazing evening. And you're always in my prayers. Each and every one of you. So blessings to everybody. Stay safe. Blessings. Peace and love. Stay safe. Be humble. Um, yeah. Be real. But be nice at the same time. We're out. All right. <laughs>